What are we doing, Seth? Once again, before I go on, thanks for everybody that has subscribed and all good. But today there are some crazy things going on. Crazy things are happening. Do you remember that song that Thames sang? Uh, one of our favorite uh, singers, uh, Thames. Crazy things are happening. Yeah, we have three crazy things that are, we have to pick from, you know, and uh, to highlight one or two crazy things that are really happening. Yeah, home and away. First off, we're going to start from home. <laughs> yeah, okay. So there's this thing that uh, is raining in Nigeria. Now. It's always been raining, but it's like it's massive now. And they have a name called uh, Japa, right? So so we have uh, four guys that decided to Japa in a very weird and crazy way. Yeah, the story goes, these guys decided, you know what? There's this vessel that just came into Nigeria. I think we can leave this country with it. How? Well, they said they're going to be in the ship, not like legally in the ship, hide around the ship, yeah, hide around it, and they were in the ship for 14 days. Where were they going? They, were, they dreamt of going to Europe. Yeah, right? Uh-uh. They ended up in another far distant land. After 14 days, how they survived, I don't know. Watch this video. Everybody, Okay, I will get some life jackets for you, okay? So first, I will get some water and some food for you. And then I give you the life jacket. Okay, what do you think? I'm not judging, but hey, guys can really take risks, right? This was crazy risk. Somehow, they managed to find themselves in Brazil. They are, I think out of four, two were sent back, I think. Two made it. So, uh, they got an asylum or whatever for stay and they are happy that they did but risky risky that was i do encourage anybody to go through that route even if you have to jack back okay <laughs> what are we doing self all right moving on another crazy one this happened like some days ago uh down in alabama here in the u.s where you saw an employee who is black yeah, yeah, it has to do with colors. Yeah, just hold for it. <laughs> okay. So he was like informing some folks around the uh, Bay Area that there's a ship coming um, or a boat, so to speak, a boat, yeah, coming and it's going to like be, you know, in a situated place and uh, the boat, I think they saw it, they were with black people. Yeah, so apparently the employee was talking to white folks that were just around there they took a personnel, before you know it, decided exchanging blues, boom, pow, pow, and all of that. What are we doing? <laughs> what happened? Why? Well, you judge it yourself. Watch this video. Okay. What do you think? What did the uh, employee who is a black dude, what did he tell them? That got so personal and the guys couldn't take it and they started punching the guy. They crowded him at some point, as you can see in the video, and uh, trying to beat him up, which they did, right? And a uh, good thing that some other black guys casually around and they try to, you know, hold back and protect the dude and all of that stuff. Crazy, isn't it? What's with the big deal? Just, he was just doing his job, right? Or is there more to it? You tell me, because I don't know, okay? <laughs> As we move on, hey, thank you for those that have subscribed. And if you haven't, kindly do, give the thumbs up, comment, and please do share the content. I think it's very interesting, something you can learn from, you can smile with, and, you know, get encouraged at some point, okay? Now, the other video we're going to have for you is a little bit graphic, and it has to do with relationship, you know? Man, woman thing, husband and wife thing, you know. In this case, it involved a man that uh, had to go to the extreme. I mean, come on now. In this case, it's quite sensitive. And uh, like I said, it's kind of graphic and all of that. But this is what I'm trying to bring out here. Regardless of what situation you are in with your spouse, it doesn't have to lead to the extreme. So in this case, this dude, for some reason, couldn't take it anymore. He didn't just... 
you know, settle it amicably. I remember we talked about emotions. He got too emotional and decided to eliminate the wife. Chopped her. Yeah, you know, that graphic. Okay? And uh, it made me try to think nobody will know or something. You know, this happened in Florida. And uh, watch this video. Weeks after a woman's dismembered body is found stuffed in multiple suitcases, there's a major break in the disturbing case out of Florida. A husband now charged with his wife's murder after allegedly shooting her in the head and dismembering her body with a chainsaw. Inside the storage unit, investigators found a chainsaw. They believe it was used to cut up Barbosa Fontes' body. Yeah, that's how bad. And uh, I don't even know what to say. Hey, you tell me, because I don't know. Why would it be that bad for you to do that craziness? If it's that bad, just walk away though, right? And you'll still be free to live your life. In this case, apparently, he will go to jail. I'm not judging, but that's most likely what will happen because now the investigation is still ongoing and it seems he really did it, right? To do that to your spouse. So I'm just saying, whether you're male, female, it doesn't matter. If you think that something is not working for you, just walk away, in this case, in a relationship, all right? Because there's a lot of sentiments and emotions attached. You have to be in control of it so that you don't lose control and go crazy. What are we doing, Seth? Okay, well, that's one of the, uh, or should I say, the three videos we have for you today. I wish I could give you more, but time is not allowing me. But uh, hey, if we have more, we'll let you know. If you do, you, you have more on your side, drop it. We just might take it on. We appreciate the time and everything. Hope you had a, a nice time today, okay? And we'll do it again, as usual. But always remember, do unto others what you want others to do unto you. All right? Drop comments as usual. We'll talk again. Thank you very much. Bye-bye, folks. Mm -hmm.